supernova remnants litter the sky like shipwrecks, and they glow with X-rays. Astronomers want Europe's new XMM satellite to clear up mysteries about exploded stars. The European Space Agency has built XMM to harvest and analyze X-rays from the sky more efficiently than ever before. The Earth and its cargo of life could not exist without the chemical elements made in stars that blew up long ago. And the recently exploded stars supply raw materials for new stars and planets. XMM will trace the iron, silicon, oxygen and other elements as they spread out in bubbles and bullets. Nearby star debris sprawls across the sky. Other bubbles are small. But near or far, these supernova remnants fill the sky with high-speed atomic particles, the cosmic rays. Raining invisibly upon the Earth, they provoke mutations in living things, helping to drive evolution along. 10,000 light years beyond the bright stars of the Cassiopeia constellation, a smudge of visible light called Cas A is a star that blew up 300 years ago. ESA's Infrared Space Observatory saw a bubble glowing by infrared light. And X-ray astronomers have even been able to watch Cas A's bubble growing with the passing years. But there's a new puzzle. In X-rays of increasing energy coming from Cas A, an Italian and Dutch satellite called Beppo Sax has revealed a very hot region near the right-hand edge. It's probably squirting out cosmic rays with far more energy than any particle accelerator on Earth. XMM's sensitive instruments will diagnose the fever in Cas A's hot region by the strength of X-rays of different energies. How does the natural machinery work? Where's its power supply? Astronomers want XMM to help them to explain the origins of cosmic rays. ESA's new observatory for X-ray astronomy is so powerful, it can examine exploded stars even in other galaxies. So its grasp of Cas A and other supernova remnants near a home will be unprecedented. No wonder the experts have high expectations for XMM's revelations about X-rays from the sky.